here. This is Gabriella, also known as Mom, and Danielle. And we're here together because our friends and family have asked us to put together this recipe, this beloved recipe that we always, Mom particularly, always gets asked for every time we have a get together. This salad is called Salade de Boeuf. That's in French, but I don't believe it was made originally in France, but rather the, the legend has it that it's been originally created in Russia. And Salat de Boeuf originally had beef in it, plus a lot of other vegetables. However, the, the one that we're going to make today is going to be our style of vegan Salat de Boeuf, which is equally tasty. So starting today, we want to talk a little bit about the ingredients that are going to go in here. So we have a little bit of list of ingredients. First of all, you will need some garlic. You're going to need a little bit of onion, one onion and a head of garlic. Um, but you're going to, we don't have them chopped out here because we'll tell you when to use it. But the main ingredients, some of the main things that are very common for the salad are potato and uh, carrots. And all these potato, all these versions that exist out there all have potatoes and carrots, plus a variety of other vegetables. And what they also have in, in, in common is the fact that they're all chopped very, very small. So you'll see that as we discuss a little bit later on how to go to the next step. So let's go over the ingredients. What do we have? We have a carrot. Carrots. Fresh carrot. Celery root. Okay, a parsnip root. So this looks like a carrot, but it's not a carrot. It's a parsnip. Okay, and potatoes. So let's talk a little bit about the potatoes because the potatoes uh, that we usually like in this salad are the Trader Joe's organic golden. Uh, these are also very common in Portugal. So like mm -hmm. a lot of dishes, Portuguese dishes use these particular cool. ones. So you can see they're sort of, uh, when they boil, they boil very nice and tight. So what's our next step? Well, first of all, from celery root, you don't use whole celery root because that is a strong taste and little sweet. Uh, for four or five carrots, we need like a quarter of the celery root. So you peel it. It's a little peel bit hard it. to peel. You yeah. will peel it and then maybe use one quarter of that or to, and it will quarter. be diced. Yeah, and same with the, uh, Parsnip needs to be okay. Clean. So the next step. So once you have your vegetables and obviously you've cleaned them and scrubbed them clean and they're ready, you have not chopped them yet because these vegetables are boiled in their entirety. You know, the quarter that you've got, it's not chopped small. It's a quarter. The potatoes, mm -hmm. mom likes to, to, to boil them. Sep First of all, the potatoes, but not all of them are in their entirety. Yeah. So you can see, with the peel so you scrub it clean and they will be boiled in there with their peel on and in their entirety so the carrots too of course you remove these and then you just clean the mm -hmm. outside and you will be boiling them in their entirety so before once you've done the washing of the vegetables and basically prepping for boiling you have we already have on the stove a boiling pot Oh, there's other ingredients too. Mom's pointing that out. This my list of it's ingredients. It's a green pea. Yeah, so we've got green peas. Then you also have uh, cucumbers. Know. These are not to be, the cucumbers are not to be bought, but the list of ingredients. Yes. So we have cucumbers. They're pickled cucumbers, and there's a specialty kind. Like when I'm looking at the ingredients, you can use, um, so one of the products that we like is usually made in Poland, and it has water salt spices garlic horseradish and contains some mustard what it does not have is vinegar and it does not have sugar so they're not sweet pickles they're sort of a polish style uh, european style of unsweetened and without vinegar uh, pickles those will give you the best taste in the salad the other things that will go in this salad as ingredients is mustard mom likes the Trader Joe organic yellow mustard but the reality is that you can use the mustard you like. Yeah. Then the other thing which mix, makes our uh, salad de boeuf particularly 
our ve our style of vegan mm -hmm. is this classic uh, fabulish organic creamy uh, vegan, vegan uh, mayo so it's a vegan mayo that you can find at the specialty Sprouts. store like at Sprouts yeah. and it is made out of fava and it's very creamy it's very tasty so this will be a key using great ingredients in your salad will make a big difference yeah. in your taste First of all, this is a special because it's not sugar. Most of mayo is made with the sugar. And this is no sugar. Yeah, most of the vegan mayo is made with sugar yeah. and this is no sugar. Because some vegetables, they have their sweet. Parsnip is little sweet, celery root is little carrot sweet, and we don't need extra sugar. Absolutely. And that's another reason we don't get pickles that are sweetened with sugar. Okay, so since we have lined up our list of ingredients, okay. how we boil? Mm -hmm. First of all, we'll have a three parts. In one part, we'll go these three vegetables. The, the roots. roots. The roots vegetables. So roots vegetables. the quarter of this with the carrots yeah. without the, yeah. the green. Of course, peeled and cleaned, but in their entirety once they're peeled and cleaned. And the parsnip. So they'll go together in one pot. With and the garlic mm -hmm. and onion and if you like to put little salt it's good will be the taste and in the same time uh, the soup will be the vegetable you can keep the soup afterwards mm -hmm. and use it as a soup so that will be in one pot in another pot we'll have potato potatoes unpeeled will be in a separate scrub clean unpeeled yes and this one will be exactly how do you like how much it's optional some people like more peas some less okay we'll boil in a different pot because you need to boil only four or five minutes very good potatoes again you have to try it usually it's a 25 30 minutes but you have to try it to see if it's done or no very good and the vegetables boil we'll about between 30 and 45 minutes again how everybody yes yeah, some it. people like them a little crunchier yeah. and others like them a little softer so it, you can take a little bit of personal uh, latitude on that so we're gonna move this aside and we'll show you once you have pulled them out what they look like so of course your parsnip boiled your carrots have been boiled and your potatoes. potatoes so you've noticed that the potatoes were boiled with the skin on they also need to be allowed to cool down after they they boil like after you pull them out of the pot to cool down some people mom explained to me that some people like to pour, boil their potatoes without the peel on but she does not and neither do I because what happens is they fall apart so when you try to get them afterwards and chop them you'll have not a very good experience Mashed so potatoes. yeah it will be mashed potatoes so when you are chopping them on the chopping block small you'll chop them in little pieces like this uh, and you can see that if they've been boiled with the peel and then the peel removed after they've cooled down you have the ability to cut them in those little pieces and they'll stay in those little pieces and then you'll do the same with the carrots chop them really small you can see the, the little pieces uh, it's how it's everybody sort of, likes. they're not equal it's so you, you can optional. see that they're not all pieces equal you just do your best to chop them small then you've got your peas that you've drained very well so they shouldn't be watery you've drained them very well from it's boiling them it's important to drain and when you put in the bowl waiting to be cool it's better to put a paper towel like to absorb all the water right water. so you you have to really drain them very properly and then you can Same see that event. the pickles that she's taken out of here, she's chopped in similar fashion, very small pieces. And, and then same, need to be very good dry. dry. Yes. Paper towel, right. like to absorb. remove the water. Remove. And then you have the parsnip. And here's the celery root. So the celery root, remember, we had peeled it and boiled in a quarter. Uh, and then afterwards drain it properly just to like the rest of the vegetables so basically all the, the vegetables after they've been boiled they get drained really well and they get cut in small pieces in very similar measurements so to speak then a couple ingredients that you will need for your salad first you'll need salt and mom's uses this and this was about one teaspoon so about one teaspoon but you can taste it depends how salty you like your salad 
So you can start with less as you mix, you will yeah. see in a little bit. Uh, but mom has about one teaspoon in here, about... Mm, this is optional. This is an optional item. This is uh, pepper. And she use, she's using it about a quarter of a teaspoon here. And then here she has about two teaspoons of mustard. But mustard, very carefully, you can add and mix, add and mix, because you want to taste the flavor to make sure it's the flavor you like. And as much mustard as you like, maybe you like less, maybe you don't like it at all. So that's somewhat, uh, it's best to have some because the flavor will be more dynamic with the mustard. Mm -hmm. The pepper, it's okay to omit it. So here we have the ingredients. You can see how they've all been transformed. We'll move these out of the way. And we can proceed to the mixing. Do you have an order, mom? Which one you like to put first? No. no? Doesn't matter. I put potato because the potato, is, I put only the bigger quantity. Okay. Yeah. So I guess she's an organizational person. She likes the bigger, the larger amounts first. Not that it matters in the taste at the end of the day. No, because it will be mixed anyway. Yeah. So this potato salad that we call salad de boeuf, as we were growing up, it we never it never missed. If it was New Year's, we had it. If it was a birthday, it was always present. It was almost like the dish that never left the table at any celebration. Uh, and it's also the dish that everybody liked. And even today, when we do it at the at, at the potluck at church, that's the potato salad that everybody likes and wants to, to have more of. I start with the less. So she'll maybe not put it all at once. Okay, let me cover it so it doesn't spill here. We'll open it in a minute. The, this same little. So she didn't put all the pepper at this point in time. We'll see. And right now, after all the vegetables, they are mixed with salt and pepper. I'll... Um, you want me to mix it? this one. Okay. And we can start to mix with the mayo and mustard after that. Mustard. Mustard um, after that. The thing is, when you're mixing them, you have to have sort of a light hand because you don't want to mash them up. You don't want to make meshed vegetables. Right. So you sort of like pull them from underneath and mix and mix. So we can see how much she's putting for this amount of... Same, it's optional. How yeah, so it is optional. Let me take this here. I think I will use the other one. Yeah, this is either easier to mix. Okay. And in the moment when I started to mix with mayo, I start to add, add some, some mustard. As my sister and I grew, were growing up, they never had us cook in the house, but we always watched. And I've got to tell you that watching cooking, you definitely learn. You, you, you put a basis without really working on it. So by the time it came time for my sister and I to cook, it came sort of natural because we've watched grandma and mom all our lives growing up. Okay, very good. Maybe One we can take a... One point before mm -hmm. this. First, it's very important like to boil all this vegetable potato and to have at least six hours to cool. To be very good cool and to be able to cup and after that to mix. So in other words, you don't want to do the salad in a rush because if you are mixing warm vegetables, if your vegetables have been cut up warm and you're mixing them warm, your result will not be as good. So if you can see a little bit, they're starting to kind of like uh, stay together, stick together because of the mayonnaise and the mustard and so on and so forth. And I add some, some more, more mayonnaise. Some more. But it's not like when we are looking at the okay. mayonnaise, 
and once she mixes in the mayonnaise, it's not like the mayonnaise is not thick. Uh, it, it is sort of like a glue kind of consistency where it makes things sort of stick a little bit together, but not necessarily cover completely. Whenever you look online and you search this salad, you generally see a very ornate uh, salad on the top decorated with um, bell peppers or olives or a little parsley. Most of but, the time eggs. But bef or, but, or eggs. But be before you, you look at the decoration on top, there's also a fairly thick layer of mayonnaise covering the actual yes. salad. So yes. you'll see that at the end when we get to okay. that step. Do I should to? taste. Let me go where. Mom? I will taste and I will You taste, taste too. You're the cook. You are with the salt. Mm. It's very good. I wouldn't add anything. Yeah. It's just the right amount of salt. So you can see, you have to taste. We didn't add the entire salt. We. We did about three quarters of it. And we also didn't put all the pepper. It could take more pepper. I like more. Yeah. I like the pepper. Okay. Again, it's optional. But the mustard seems just the right amount. I don't think I would want more mustard. I'm gonna get rid of this teaspoon, I mean fork. Let me. Mm, it's good. take this from you so let's turn around this way a little bit and do it over here so that they can see what we're doing we're basically just scooping it out and you can see the consistency of it they're sort of stick together but you can see the vegetables very clearly about that much how about that you want it all of it let's put it all yeah same goes let me do it So now she's basically soft, softly leveling the vegetables so that they have sort of a nice even format with a little bit more of a mound in the middle and a little bit lower on the edges, sort of like a little mound, soft mound. Sort of like a cake filling. We're, we're making a cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So then, now it becomes where we're putting a little bit of a thicker coverage, like a little blanket on the top, so that you don't see the vegetables. You just see a little blanket of uh, this vegan, no sugar, mayonnaise. The name of it is... Uh, Fabulish, classic mayo, organic, creamy, vegan, from Sprouts. So she's making sort of a little bit of a blanket, but you can get creative on that. So she's doing a little bit of cake kind of decoration on the mayo. You get, I've seen it done where it's very smooth, or I've seen it done, but when it's very smooth, you end up having to put a little bit of a thicker um, mayo coverage on top in order to make it smooth without the vegetables showing so it just depends on your taste yes. sometimes we don't like a lot of mayo flavor on top and uh, you can decorate with everything what you like so here is the how it looks you can see it's looking good it's looking yummy it's ready for us to eat of course decorating once now we're not really decorating today because we wanted you to know how to build it these are the basics the flavor is most important. Of course, decorating is important appeal. And you can easily take olives and cut them in, yes. in slivers and make yeah. little flowers with olives, you know, a couple of little flowers. Or you, you can save some carrots. 
uh, yeah, you can also and, uh, uh, decorate and with a few pieces of carrots where you can slice them mm -hmm. very on a lengthy like that. Let's do it here. Give me one nice mm, I see. I already have an idea. Make so what yeah you can make little flowers so you can put this here and with if you slice olive you can put like a little st uh, st uh, petals around or you can put them together and make a flower out of it and a little olive in the middle you just your creativity is up to you you can also decorate with a few pickles on the top you can cut a few yeah. slices of pickles Ooh. yeah but the pickles you have to yeah we don't have time because we did not drain them ahead drain. of time they have to be drained nothing watery on top of it it will ruin your potato salad your salad a la boeuf salad de boeuf there we go our flowers are coming together we can cut a few these will be too light let's just do carrots only because they'll add color Uh, let's do one more here mm. one more yeah maybe a little bit bigger one like this one and so we have a, like petals a little bit bigger There you go. This is a simple decoration. You can get as elaborate as you'd like. Just keeping with the ingredients though. In general, if you are using, doing decoration, I wouldn't use pansies. Even though pansies are edible, I wouldn't do that. It like ruins your potato salad. If you use a few carrot pieces or if you use a few pieces of olive, that would be great with the flavor. Or you can use a little bit of pickle, but make sure you drain them properly. Or a little bit of parsley, parsley. is very common for decoration. It's a green. So here is our salat de boeuf. We did it, Mom. Yes. Thank you.